Happy folks and welcome to uh, Skip Barber this week. Haven't actually done this one. Done uh, Hockenheim on the full layout. I believe it was the full layout. No, it was a short layout. I can't remember. Anyway, this is another layout we have here and it's a it's a bit nicer than some of them. Put it that way. Uh, we cut short the back straight, the long big curve back straight and nip round on a double right hander straight into Mercedes corner here. Uh, nice little circuit, to be honest. Um, fuel. Yeah. I did 17 laps on 3.1 gallons or whatever that is in litres, put it above my head. Um, we're scheduled to do 20, so you will need to go up the other click on fuel. I'll put it in the thumbnail, I've said it here, I'll say it on the track guide just in case you missed it. But yes, more fuel is required. Uh, anywho, let's crack on with what I normally show you guys. Track temp 82 Fahrenheit degrees will be above my head, hopefully that's pretty accurate to what we're racing. Track usage as always 45% for me track guides. The lap I'm going to show you is lap 15. We did try and go out and beat it, and we got pretty close, a couple of tenths away, but couldn't be a 139.101. So fingers crossed that is a relatively decent time. Nice smooth lap this, um, so I'm really happy that I got a decent time and a nice smooth lap as I itch my eye. Above my head will be how I get into these sessions. If you're ever interested to practice before the week is um, upon us, let's say, uh, you go into the UI and then go to schedule and there's everything listed down there that you can possibly want. So you can click test drive and away you go. The other thing I'm also going to show you above my head is my Discord where I put in the OLAP, VLAP, telemetry and replay file. Also going to put the setup in there. So the setup file will be in there as well if you require that. And uh, yeah, also in there we've got a uh, Google Docs scheduler with, uh, well, it's an Excel document basically, uh, with all my track guides on. So you know what's coming up, what series I've done, what I'm planning to do, what I've done in the past to help you guys out for that as well. Uh, right, enough of me waffling. Let's crack on. Right then, Hockenheim. And uh, yeah, good circuit this. Did enjoy it. Turn one, what you're looking for is just before the 50 board. Uh, a couple of car lengths before it. Just a dab on the brakes, down to fourth. Keep on power to keep that rear end in check and don't run too far wide. I don't know how I didn't get an off track here. It was very, very close, but I can assure you I didn't. I'll probably put a little cut out of the lap on there. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can run wide, don't run too far wide, awful off track. Coming down into the uh, turn two now, 100 meter board, absolutely stand on the brakes. Really, really important to get a good, smooth, clean exit here. It's a very long straight, well, semi long straight to uh, the makeshift hairpin that's made up. Use all of the track on the left-hand side. Don't worry about too much of this kink. You can run far out on the right-hand side as well, so don't too worry about that. Slipstream will be an issue down here, so be warned if someone is coming past you, let them go. It turns five, six, and seven are coming up, and they are quite tight. Right, this is where the track differs now, and you are hunting for the curb over here just after the 100 meter, just so we leave it at the good car lengths, break in a straight line the best you can. All the way down to first gear I found for this. I did lock up the inside front, so be mindful of that. Miss the first apex and then clip this second apex with being on full power as early as you can. You can run all the way out wide because we're not going too fast and it's a really, really short run to the Mercedes turn of eight. So 50 board, just before the curving starts, you're braking again. I find second or first. First can be a little bit too short, but if you're pushing wide, take first gear anyway. Uh, awful slowdown on off track up there, so don't touch that curb at all. And you want to bring the car all the way to the left hand side. I don't get all the way over to the curb, not too much of an issue because we're not going that quickly. Miss the bump on the curb as well. You can rise the SPO uh, if you are finding your bottom out there, but I just found it was too bumpy. Nice smooth exit now, and we're staying on the left hand side for coming into the stadium section. Just this tree shadow it might not always be there, so it's probably good to get another marker. Fourth gear stab on the brakes easy on the power while the wind again it's very much like turn one just keep the power in keep the rear end in check on the skippy and try and be as smooth as you can coming into turn 11 now the famous hairpin and we are just at the curbing slash the 50 meter board again brake in a straight line most efficient way to brake get into the camber of the corner as well and try and clip that curb just to give it a little tickle on exit as you go past and you can use all of this curb on the exit as well without too much an issue the left and right kink here aren't really corners you can take them flat out but you are monitoring this end of the red curb just as you leave that and probably uh, another car length after it you're braking down to third gear if you are up into four sometimes you leave it in third Really easy to spin out here, so be mindful of that. And don't run too far wide, because it is an off-track again. And you're looking for the red end of the red sausage curb. And you want you can cut this corner quite a lot. But look how early I'm on throttle. Get a good exit out of here, and you can use all of the curb on the exit here as well. Good run down to start the next lap, and you should be absolutely golden. 
So that is us crossing the line now with a 139.101. So yeah, I was quite happy with that. Definitely one of my faster laps. And I'm expecting mid-39s. The aliens will be probably in the 38s and crazy things like that. But yeah, mid-39s, few 40s in there for me. I think that would be a good mid-range top split. Let me know how you guys get along in the race. I think it's going to be quite a fun circuit. You know, there's not many places to overtake, considering the stadium section. Um, but yeah, down to the hairpin, turn two will be your main ones, really. Just be careful. Stay safe out there. Catch you on the next one.